Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the channel, Shootfish Productions, and today's video is all about uh, a cheap red dot sight. Um, I bought it for a particular gun that didn't work out. I put it on a Springer rifle I got, pulled the trigger, and the shock just sent this thing, shattered his brain. So, nothing broke as such, but I couldn't adjust it afterwards, and I've always wondered what's inside anyway, one of these little red dot sights. So, I took it apart, and this is what this video is all about. So, if you're interested in what's inside a red dot, keep watching. Right, so, um, yeah, um, I was looking for a red dot sight from a PP700. In the end, I ended up with uh, one of these type red dot sights. And from what I'm, what I'm about to tell you, I think that's the sort of sight you'd probably want rather than a red dot or cheap red dot anyway for a, a Springer rifle or anything that's going to have a bit of shock in it because uh, I stuck this on a Springer I mean that's okay the, the, the adjustment was a bit cheap and nasty got it sort of working if you like I wasn't expecting nothing amazing that was like 16 quid off eBay I complained about the fitting on it weren't quite right because that's a weaver fitting not 11 middle dovetail so that's another thing to watch out for geezer gave me like 3 quid back and um Took one shot with it, the red dot just jumped to the side, like a cross-eyed monster, and after that I couldn't adjust it. Um, so, having a look at it, I just thought, well, I mean, the top bit was easy enough. To, ooh, the top bit was easy enough to come off. I got all the bits in this tin air. Hopefully, I can remember how it go back together. Uh, so yeah, I mean, these are just the covers for it, for the adjusters, which are cheap and nasty. Um, the adjustment amount on them in a lot. So I had to get this in a voice you probably see the teeth marks on it and um managed to get these undone so i mean you could break it just doing that to be honest so uh basically inside um one end has got a mirrored lens which reflects back i'll show you that in a minute how it works if i can remember really which end went where uh yeah i can so inside is this tube with this sort of spongy ring on it in this end is a little holder where the led go uh, and that's, that's a two color LED and the wires didn't have any polarity so I'm, I'm wondering if whether with the electronics in it that's it in this little ring here uh, that's, that's all really crude and cheap everything I mean even the wiring was literally sellotaped into place so I'm gonna have to replace the wires on this because they got ripped when I took it apart so you got a little LED there and this little ring that's sort of um, yeah, this tube went in that way, the other way. So let's take the other end of the tube off. That'll be easier to show you. So this tube was basically in there like so. And this is angled because there's a mirror. There's a mirror with on there which sits at an angle. If you can see that, that tube is at an angle. Uh, the LED hits that, reflects back, and you adjust it to get it in the middle. Now the, so this, this sits that end with the LED in. And this is so crude and cheap. So that goes in there, the LED is in there. And uh, basically, in this end, before you uh, put the LED in, there's this uh, little spring bar clip thing that just fell out. And from what I can make out, you got your two, your two adjusters. So this would go in the opposite corner and uh, create some sort of sprung tension. But I think I've actually got this in the wrong way. Well, so yeah, um, yeah, I did have it the wrong way. So yeah, that goes in that way. So yeah, and then you got your spring clip. Push that up against them two, and, and I'd imagine the only place this spring clip can go is opposite the two adjusting screws. So that's what I've done. Plonk that in there, and uh, that's how that adjusts. So you can see why why this went wrong on a springer because one that spring clip obviously just jumped out of the way so then you do your screws this, this screw tube is a bit big and they basically push that tube around so when you're adjusting up and down that will actually move it a little bit left and right as well so it becomes a bit of a pain to adjust and once you got it adjusted you'd want to be switching it between guns and readjusting it because this is like cheapest chips to get it adjusted if you can if you're lucky see that clip is now popping out obviously with the 
with the screw cap on there that's not going to do that so um anyway i wouldn't do that right now because i've got a solder this led in so what we'll do we'll put it all back together all at once and um yeah the uh the, the, i've got the lens there which has got the that's why i brought this glasses cloth i'll just show you that that's got a shiny side that's sort of convex or concave is the correct well it's convex one way concave the other so the LED will shine on that, that will reflect it back and then you see it at the other end in the tube. So uh, yeah, again that was just laid in loose. Um, I was thinking maybe gluing it in, hold it in place a bit firmer because the whole guts inside twist round and your dot just go off to the edge, it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so um, hopefully I can remember how it all go back together. So I've got some wires there ready to solder, I've got my cord of solder nine. I got my glasses goggles. I call them my glasses goggles when I uh, glass watch goggles. I, I sort of mess about watches. So I got all that ready. So I'm not going to bore you with um, all the ins and outs. I'm going to solder two new wires on this LED, fit it in this ring, feed the wires through the adjusting hole, get it all back together, and then I might go through putting the electronics back in. But that's literally. Uh, two minute job so um we'll catch you in a minute when i got all this done okay i've been fiddling about with this thing and um what i've done i did i, I couldn't really show you on camera because i wasn't sure if that was going to work again so in the end there um that little mirror thing that was originally that was held in by being pressed up against the glass you know very sophisticated so that's now sitting back a bit and i glued that in so i don't fall out soldered a new wire you can see that little lump at the bottom there that's where the led is soldered a new wire from there up to the gubbins through here and there was four little screws put it together as a little plate with an arrow pointing nice susto in the end that arrow points towards the led at the back you hold that down with your finger while you tighten the ring up to hold the circuit board in done now adjusting this thing is going to be pretty crude you've got these two adjusters pressing up against a spring opposite just like moving this tube and whatever one of them you move is going to slightly affect the other one so if you get it set up to hit a barn door, great. <laughs> Don't go changing it. And I might, like I say, putting these on a springer, forget it. These are a piece of poo. Don't buy them at all. If you're stuck with one or give one and you think you might want to use it, don't put it on a springer. That'll just wreck it straight away on one shot. Um, the more expensive uh, red dot sites are made better. The ones that are um, designed for firearms especially would be fine. So don't waste your money on these pieces of poo. Um, I did amazingly get this work, and I'll show you the red dot and the green dot in a second. Um, so I, I'm going to put this on my wear arc single stroke pneumatic. Um, I might have to print a rail to get this to fit on it, but just just for a laugh, really, to see if I can get anything out of it. So amazingly, um, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Yeah, and. It's different brightnesses, I don't even know if it works, and that's the red. Can you see the red dot? Yeah, yeah, so um, yeah, I, 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 I got it working. Um, you know, yeah, that was good for like BB guns, basically, like BB gun, electric ones, yeah, sealed, you know I mean? like or yeah, or sealed BB gun. But I think this is better now, like, say, with that two pressed up against the glass, probably didn't help with the shock factor of it and all the rest of it, so um. Yeah, I mean, what I pay after a little bit of refund, after complaining, I, I paid about 12 quid. But, you know, that's 12 quid down the drain, I might as well have spent 80 quid and got a... What's that, what's that one of yours? Hawk. A hawk. hawk yeah, I mean, you do you do get what you pay for with, yeah. a, with the sites and stuff at the end of the day. With anything in life, really. So, um, yeah, I hope you found that interesting. You know, sorry I couldn't show you the intricates. Uh, but, honestly, for this sort of thing, it ain't worth it. And... Um, don't waste your money in the first place. So uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.